Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my dual boot of Ubuntu Hardy Heron 10.8.04, sorry, and um, Leopard 10.5. And um, I'm on Ubuntu here, you can tell by the jelly windows, and you've got your bar up top, that's Ubuntu, and the bar on the bottom. That's kind of a cool plugin, like it gives you the window preview, like Vista. And then also I have the cube graphical effects enabled, so I get this cool stuff. Uh, you could drag windows from one side of the cube to the next side of the cube. Everybody's seen this. You can just plan old swap cubes with your scroller. Another thing that's cool is like now that I have two windows, I can do that. And that allows me to select the window. That especially helps if like this window is selected and it is bigger than the other window. I can't just click on it and without having to go all the way down here to click on it, I can just put my mouse in the corner and click on it. It's a lot faster. And also, this is a plugin. It's called Compass Fusion, all these graphical effects. And it can be enabled right through terminal. If you want to look it up, it's just Compass Fusion. Um, in Google and there's a way to enable it. If you're running, I should rephrase that, if you're running the latest version of Ubuntu for PowerPC, this is the PowerPC PowerBook G4 15 inch, if you're running the latest version of Ubuntu for PowerPC 8.04, Compass Fusion is on the operating system but you have to enable it through terminal and there's a lot of stuff on the internet that shows you how to do that. You can just copy and paste, I just knew how to do it. Um, but it allows the cube, the cube effects, and it allows some of the other stuff. But you see how like the window is sticking and then you, it sticks to the bottom? And then you can rip it up and it's kind of sticky and then it acts like jello or jelly or whatever. That comes with Ubuntu that's just like that. Well, you have to enable it just through System, Preferences, Appearance, and it's right inside Appearance. But that's Ubuntu, and it's a pretty nice operating system. This isn't really what it looks like. I've customized it with this black theme. Everything's black. And I've put this custom wallpaper and kind of messed with stuff. But... It's a really nice operating system. It's pretty stable. I wouldn't say it's quite as stable as OS X, but it's a nice OS. And now I'll show you the dual boot, how to uh, get to OS X. And there is a dual boot. Just hold the power button for five seconds to shut it down. I could just click shut down, but that takes longer. Let's just hit the power button. Apple startup noise. Hold option. That's my second monitor. I don't. I never hook it up when I'm in Linux because I don't really know how to set it up in Linux. I'll hook it up here when I'm booting to OS X because I use it with OS X, but I don't use it with Linux. I really don't know what it's doing. It should be loading the bootloader, but it's not. So I'm going to let off option and see what happens. Maybe it's just taken a while. There we go. Now, oh, it loaded the wrong one. This is the bootloader in Linux, and you can press X, and it will uh, boot OS X. You can press I, it'll boot Linux, or L, it'll boot Linux, and you press C, and it'll boot from the CD if there's one in your drive. Um, so I hit X, and now it's booting OS X. I can set the camera down over here and plug in the monitor.
screws my headphones out of the way. There. It's booting OS X. we go. So, I'm going to set this here. Now it's sliding off, I'm just going to start it on the desk. Type in my password. There we go, now we're logging into OSX. Turn this monitor on. There we go. And that's it. Here we have OS X. And this is Leopard. It's not really that customized, just new dock floor. That's it. And you see the second monitor does work here. Cool thing about two monitors on a Mac is you can have different wallpapers. In Windows you can only have one really massive resolution wallpaper. But in OS X you can have two. And I think you can have two different screensavers. I'm not sure. Wait, let me see. No, they're the same screensaver. That kind of sucks. But, there you have it. And uh, this wasn't meant to be a tutorial. If you guys want a tutorial, just leave a comment or a video comment, whatever. And I'll make a tutorial on how to set up this dual boot. Uh, it's really nice because there's a lot of stuff you can do in OS X that you can't do in Linux, and there's a lot of stuff you can do in Linux, Linux you can't do in OS X. So, it's a nice setup to have. I mean, clearly, XP in OS X would be better, but, you know, no Intel, it won't even boot. But I do have a virtual machine on OS X of XP. And if you guys want a tutorial on that, just let me know. So, that's the end of this, and see you later.